Even if they are skilled, they have no certificate. You'll find a carpenter, he's very talented, he's got the gifted, he can make a nice table, but no certificate. We must facilitate for our children with the little education they have, with the little giftings they have, the talents they have, mm -hmm. we must now make that formal and make sure they get proper certificates so that they can also get opportunities to work within government. All right. Yes. This is person of interest. And uh, one of the things I'm sure many Kenyans would like to know is that a few years ago, there were wedding bells ringing. And, uh, they stopped ringing. Oh, <laughs> my. I was hoping you will not remember anything no, like no, no, that. No, no, no. Those ones, we can, we, you're I person was, of interest. I so we want to know what happened. I was hoping you're the best journalist I've met who doesn't remember. Uh, does that make me a bad journalist? <laughs> that I no, no, no. It doesn't. It doesn't. I was just hoping that is one topic you'll not remember. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, that, uh, that was 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have what we call him? no, no, no. We have first of all, you know, that wedding was not about the man getting scared. It was about the politics of the land. Mm -hmm. It was about Nairobi supremacy. And even today, as I talk, the same battles are ongoing. They have started all over again, afresh. Nairobi supremacy. What some of the old politicians do when they see you having great influence and becoming too popular and people trust you, people have faith in you, people are following you, what they do is that they want to create a scandal for you so that now you can follow up with the people. And that's exactly what happened in 2007. However, my South African friend, who is still my friend up to date, could not take that because he said, we do politics in South Africa, but we don't have to, to throw mud on each other. You can simply sell your policies without necessarily scandalizing each other. So anyway, the wedding was messed up. But I can tell you we ate the cake. We ate the cake, we shared it amongst ourselves, and we ate the cake and we rejoiced mm -hmm. and said Jesus is Lord. So the cake okay. was still there. The cake was still there. <laughs> Even the gown is still there, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, Do you ever wear it? Go in where? You have to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might, you might wear it dreaming and thinking. Oh, you know, no, it's Mario, always a gown's dream. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't do that with a wedding gown. A wedding gown, you hide it until the right moment. So one of these days, it will be worn at the right moment. Wow. But before we get there, mm -hmm. so <laughs> now... <laughs> I'm remember, on edge. The, I want to hear that. <laughs> the Nairobi supremacy battle always starts when influence is there. When they see you become too influential, they look for a way to destroy you. And right now, the same person who funded the destruction of that wedding in 2007 is currently funding. Do you know the person? Oh, yeah. Who is it? Uh, just leave him to me. Leave you him don't to, want me to tell until us. one of these days. This is, this is national media. The other, yeah, day you had, the other day you had Jeff Koinange uh, in the cells. <laughs> don't, don't go mentioning names. <laughs> when you go mentioning names, you can end up in the cell. Okay. Uh, uh, we don't want, I don't want me and you to end up in the sales. All right. We yeah. want to wind up. And uh, thank you so very much. But now you mentioned <laughs> that you keep the dress until the right time. So oh, is yes. there, is, are there prospects? Is there? Somebody will come. There are some nice men around, some nice Kenyans. Okay. So he's but not yet there. Somebody who can buy dinner. Okay. Yeah, pay so, for the so dinner. So is there somebody? The reason I'm asking is because they might be watching right now, you know. So maybe... There might be... He, he would better be born again, properly mm -hmm. saved. Mm -hmm. Somebody who loves God. Write down God. the qualities, guys. Some, write down the qualities. Somebody who loves... <laughs> <laughs> Mike! Uh -huh, somebody please. who mm -hmm. saved, born again, properly born again. Mm -hmm. Somebody who loves God with the whole of their heart. Because me, I love God. I breathe God, I sleep God, I wake up God. Mm -hmm. Me and God are like this. So somebody who loves God wholeheartedly and somebody who really wants to serve the people. If someone does not want to go to the slums, cannot stand the people, maybe they, they, you know, there are people who even have problems greeting the poor guys, that one we cannot work together. Okay. May I want somebody who can rub shoulders with the sick, with the poorest the of the poorest, with the wanainchi, somebody who can be a blessing to the people. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't have to be tall, dark, handsome. And one who is not threatened by okay. a successful, blessed woman of God.